I started uh, my Tour du Mont Blanc from the parking, the official parking from the TMB and head on to the Col de Vosat, which is a not too high call, a good uh, start for the Tour du Mont Blanc to get used to walking. Call the Volta. Here I walked already on a variant uh, starting from the Col de Fosa uh, that should go over the Col de Tricot, another call. But as I had to learn halfway through that uh, this variant was closed, the hanging bridge was uh, damaged due to the floods, and so I had to stop uh, this variant, unfortunately. Oh, I see people down, still coming, so I'm almost there, almost at Refuge, Refuge de la Balme. Uh, it's very tiring, I just made a little detour. I wanted to take a variant and then some part of the variant was closed and now yeah I've lost about at least one hour at least and I wanted to come back here as I did, did last time but it has been quite a long trip. I'm tired and I was not prepared, no training. So, the longest day is almost over. After a rainy night on camp, I'm just preparing my coffee and then I head on over the Col du Bonhomme and continue my way 
my second day on Tolly Mont Blanc. Now starting my ascent, this on the side is uh, the Refuge de la Palme, it's a shelter and close to this shelter there's a possibility to camp. I don't know if it's visible on the camera. Over there is a marmot running. Wow. Now, up right here is the Col de Gonon. And I have to walk a little bit through the snow. Up there. That's fine. There we are. Oh, I hope I don't fall with the camera in my hand. Is there snow here? This on top is 
col du bonhomme. Oh. Very hot. And after the col du bonhomme, I go down again. <coughs> Nice, absolutely nice weather. Some Spanish hike in front of me. And water everywhere. So, see you on the, on the Col du Bonhomme. There we are at the Col du Bonhomme at 2,329 meters of altitude. Col du Bonhomme. Over there on top, close to the sun. That's what it's called, the bomb. Starting at the Col du Bonhomme, there's another ascent to the Col de la Croix du Bonhomme, which lies at 2,443 meters. And there's a shelter there. Ça va, c'est faisable. Faut juste, euh, non, faut juste, euh, je sais pas. Euh, J'étais, c'est la deuxième fois que je suis ici. J'ai toujours passé par ici, quoi. Ouais. Je sais pas s'il y a un passage là. Mais ça va, il faut juste faire attention au pas. S'il y a des bâtons, il n'y a pas trop de trous. Il y a pas de... Ouais.
This gentleman was asking advice on how to cross this uh, bit of technical place uh, because he had his children and his wife with him. Sinon, il y a un autre passage par là, je vois. Here we are on the third day already of my hike. I've uh, spent my night in the Refuge de Motet, that's a shelter just uh, after Les Chapieux, where I had my lunch. And then now I'm just back uh, climbing rel relentlessly to the Col de la Seine. That's uh, my way back into the high mountains. Col de la Seine is at 2,516 meters.
Welcome to Italy. We are now in Italy. So, this is, this will be <coughs> almost only valley walking for the next hour or more and before the approach of Kumayo there will be one hill climb Very nice fast valley here in Italy. Very soon we will arrive at the refuge uh, Elisabetta. Yeah. Nice valley and the reflection in the water is absolutely nice. So we had Combal somehow. And now I'll have to climb a little bit in this forest. That's good, it gives a bit of protection from the sun. After a nice uh, walk, a valley walk, uh, I had my lunch at uh, Caban du Combal. This is at uh, 1968 meters. And then there was a steep climb uh, that I'm progressing here to about 2450 meters and then back down again over the Col de Chécrui to uh, Courmayeur. That's the end of my day. And yet, another mind-blowing view of Courmayeur. I came down to the right and now I come up to the left. And I will most probably stay there. This is the house valley. I'm just leaving this one across the Swiss border. The Swiss border is about 
600 meters above. So let's continue. I'm happy I found a camp location that's absolutely amazing. And I think I have two new guests. I'm almost at the top of the Col Grand Col du Ferré. So another 50 meters or so of altitude and I passed the, the border of Switzerland. Now we just finished cooking. It's a bit windy. Now we continue down to Champlex. On my hike to Champex Lac to stay on the camping, uh, my plan was to do the Fenêtre d'Arpette, but the weather changed and so I continued the normal standard TMB.
Ah, c'est une civile. Ouais. <rire> After a very tough day, I finally arrived at camp location. So I stayed at Lac Chesaris at 2,220 meters, exactly at the place that you see here.